Hello students, today we will take the first numerical on friction chapter and we will start with a very simple problem. So let us read the problem first. A wooden block of weight 50 Newton rests on a horizontal plane. Determine the force required to just A part, pull it, B part, push it. Take coefficient of friction as 0 0.4 and 15 degree angle between pull and the horizontal same angle for push so a statement is given to us but uh, no diagram is given it means we have to draw free body from this particular statement so what he says he says a wooden block of weight 50 newton rests on a horizontal plane so let us uh, show a block on a horizontal plane and what is the first force to represent its weight what is the weight 50 newton weight always acts in vertical downward direction so let us show its weight in downward direction let me label this as 50 now what is the next thing to represent in this free body against that weight there will be a normal pressure which will be perpendicular to the surface then let us read the statement again determine the force required to a part pull it so let us first solve the a part means we have to show a pull in this particular free body suppose uh, at this particular point we have applied the pull and uh, what he says 15 degree take 15 degree as angle between the pull and the horizontal so pull means let us apply pull towards right so this is the force which we have applied shown as pull let me call this force as P and what he says its angle with the horizontal is 15 degrees so let us label that angle as well now if we are applying a pull on this particular body it means the tendency of this particular pull is to move the body towards right fine this is what he is asking determine the force required to just pull it now we have to identify the condition just pull it means motion is impending just about to start but there is no motion so we have to consider third case where we learned that we the uh, whole body will be in equilibrium or the whole system will be in equilibrium so motion is impending this is very much clear from the statement because it's saying force required to just pull it motion is impending this is another thing which we have found from this particular statement that means our system is in equilibrium and we will be able to apply these two equations summation fx is equal to 0 summation fy equal to 0 now let us complete the free body the tendency of this particular force is to pull this body towards right it means there will be a friction between the contacting surfaces which will act tangent to the surface but in opposite direction opposite to the motion so let us call that as F now let us complete the free body by converting or by showing the components of this particular force see as we know that if the body is resting on the horizontal surface along the surface we consider x axis normal to the surface we consider y axis so all the forces like uh, this 50 newton force weight normal pressure and friction they are either acting along x direction or along y direction but if you see this particular external force pull p it is acting at some angle to the horizontal it means we have to first resolve this into its components you see the arrowhead is moving away from the origin so along the surface along the surface there will be one component of this particular force we will show the arrowhead which will be away from the origin so another component will be normal to the surface this is the surface so normal to the surface so arrowhead is moving away from origin so in this component also show arrowhead moving away from origin so we are considering this angle this angle is given with this axis so this will be cos component this will be sine component so we label this as p cos 15 degree and this will be p 
sin 15 degrees. Now we are ready with the free body. Now we have to see which situation is applicable over here. We have already found he has written determine the force required to just pull it. That means motion is just about to start. Motion is impending. So system is in equilibrium. That means these two equations are applicable for this particular quotient. So we will start with the first equation. We will say step number one summation fx is equal to zero. Now let us see how many forces are there which are acting along x direction or along the surface. We will add those forces. We will equate the sum equal to zero. Any force moving towards right will be considered as positive. Any force towards left will be negative. Now in this system there are two forces acting along x direction or along the surface. One is p cos 15. It is positive acting towards right. F is acting towards left. We will take it as negative. So we will use these two forces in this equation. We will say p cos 15 degrees minus f is equal to 0. Now what next we will do? We will replace this term f by mu s n. So we will write p cos 15 degrees minus mu s n equal to 0. Now there is one very important part to understand why we have replaced f with mu s n because we have already learned this in concept of friction that friction force is equal to coefficient of friction multiplied by normal pressure. Now let us see what two variables we know in this particular equation. We don't know p, this we have to calculate. Then we know the value of mu s, it is given as 0.4 in the quotient, it is given as 0.4 coefficient of friction and we don't know equal to 0. So in this equation there are two variables n and p. Can't solve this equation, so call this equation 1 for time being. Then we will say step number 2. Second equation is applicable. Summation Fy is equal to 0 because there is no moment of this body along y direction as well. So we will see how many forces are acting along y direction. There are three forces. 15 Newton, P sin 15, normal pressure n. It is acting in downward direction 15 Newton so we will take it as negative. n and P sin 15 is, are acting in our direction so we will take these two as positive. So equation will become n plus p sin 15 minus 50 is equal to 0. So from here we will get value of n in terms of p 50 plus p sin 15. Then we will say put the value of n in above equation. So when you will put this value of n in above equation, you will get your answer that is value for p. So it will be 18.72 newtons. So we got answer for a part when he says determine the force required to pull it. Now let us solve its b part. What he says determine the force required to push it. So what will be the difference? The only difference will be in the free body. So in the free body of B part, the changes will be, first of all you will show the body on the horizontal surface, then you will show its weight acting in downward direction, 50 Newton, then we will show nominal pressure, N. Now, Previously we were dealing with pull, now we have to show push. So if you want to move the body towards right, you can consider push in this direction, P. And its angle with the horizontal is same, he says same angle for push, 15 degrees. So this component arrowhead is towards origin. So in this component also towards origin. So we'll call this as P cos 15 
and we will show its vertical component as well so arrowhead will be towards the origin so it is p sine 15 now the tendency of this force is to move the block towards right so friction force will act towards left and tangential to the surface now if you compare these two free bodies the only difference is that this particular component p sin 15 earlier it was acting in our direction now it will act in downward direction so in b part as well you will apply same equations but the only difference is when you will apply the second equation summation f y equal to 0 over here we will get negative sign in b part because this particular component in this case is acting in downward direction so i hope this particular numerical is clear to you so in the end i want to revise how to solve any problem understand the statement carefully draw the free body label the weight and external forces their components normal pressure and see in which direction you are moving the body the tendency of the force to move the body is in which direction and against that direction you have to take the friction force after that you have to see what is given in the statement so over here he was asking the force required to just pull it just means motion is just about to start means motion is not starting not started but it is just about to start it means equations of equilibrium are applicable for this particular problem and we have used those two equations to solve the unknown which was pull in the a part and push in the b part thank you very much